One of the major issues on voters' minds was Obamacare. So how did it factor in at the polls, and what does President Obama's reelection mean now for the future of health care in America? That we have it, and it's called Obamacare? Did mm -hmm. I just answer the segment? No. Uh, Betsy McCoy is here. She's the former lieutenant governor, but also the author of Decoding Obama Health Care, and actually read the whole bill, has it on her lap. Uh, Unfortunately, it's a law now. And it's going to roll out as written because of the election results last night. So, for example, for the first time in history, the government will be in control of your care, even if you have a private health plan you've paid for yourself. Under Section 1311, the government dictates how doctors treat even privately insured patients. Number two, seniors can expect less care because over half of this gigantic law is paid for with cuts to Medicare. So, for example, hospitals will have $247 billion less money in this decade to care for the same number of seniors. They're already spreading nurses thinner, starting to lay off nurses. That's why there's a nursing strike going on in California right now. And it will mean... Uh, a harder time for elderly patients who are struggling to survive their hospital stay. We've seen in the past, for example, that heart attack patients are less likely to survive when hospitals cut down on nursing care. Number four, and this is critical, uh, if you're one of the 165 million people who get your health plan through an employer, your own or your spouse's, you're likely to hear your employer tell you this year, I'm sorry, in 2014, I'm not going to be offering health insurance for I'm you anymore. I'm taking the fine? You have, yeah, I'm taking the fine or I'm pushing you down to part-time status, one or the other. So you're going to have to go to the health insurance exchange in your state or you may be pushed onto Medicaid if you're a low-paid employee such as a retail salesperson um, or a busboy, somebody starting out in life. And number five, women kind of got bamboozled in this election. So much of it was about contraception, but nothing in this gigantic law guarantees access to contraception. What your health plan covers is totally totally up to the president's appointees. So this occupant of the White House says, cover contraception. And the next occupant of the White House could say just the opposite. Interesting. No. Interesting. Right. Um, so those are the top five things. I'm sure there's many more points in there, which we will continue to talk about as we move forward now with the full implementation of Obamacare. Betsy McCoy, you know it through and through. Thanks so much. Thank you. Brand new exit polls just in. Most Americans think the economy is on the wrong track, but they still voted for President Obama, so we will analyze how that happened. Then the president says he's ready to reach across the aisle. He talked about it last night in his speech, but Congress has not changed. So can he really deliver on that promise? Will he change? Tonight, 